first down. Lauer put in motion here on third and seven. West going to try and run for it on his own. He's right around the 20, right around the 30, right around the 40, right around the 50, and a big gain for Donald West. A gain of 34. And that'll put the Saints across midfield. I knew. West here on the drop back. He'll drop. Looking for pressure from the right side. He's going to look over the middle of Weber. He's got him. For a touchdown. Touchdown, <laughs> Saints. <laughs> Donald West to Ricky Weber over the middle. And these hometown fans are in a frenzy on homecoming weekend. The first touchdown for the Saints this weekend is on a big passing play from Donald West to Ricky Weber. And that will cut into the St. Olaf lead here. As the Saints are only trailing now by eight, barring an extra point of 14 to six. And we'll see what the Saints can do here. Three wide to the left side. Weber on one on one to the right side. West drop sacks can be a blitz coming. He's going to look to the middle. He's going to have a touchdown for the Saints. It's going to be Connor Donovan on the catch from Donald West. And the Saints have put together back to back solid drives. Their only trail now 20 to 13. Donald West with the touchdown there to Connor Donovan. Take a shot here, she's gonna shoot. It's gonna go off the post, and we got a goal. Tenley Voth with the goal for Saint Scholastica. That'll cut this deficit in half. And we just want to Voth. Voth with the shot, she scores. Tenley Voth has scored in two straight games, and this Saints deficit is cut in half. As the Bennies now lead two to one. This one back. Trying to make a move, trying to get a shot on goal here. And the Saints score! Parker Chasty nets that one. As he just wanted to get a Saints opportunity. Parker Chasty picks up a goal for Saints Scholastica. Since made her presence be felt in this match so far. Baribu trying to end this one. Return there is Terrell going for it. Myrie putting this one blocked down. Baribu with the kill. Saints win set three. And that ends. Four and a half minutes here left to play in half number one. Saints on offense here. Here's Washington with it. His shot is good off an assist there from Kekel. Nice screen from Kekel to give Washington an open opportunity this game. So Austin Jensen there converting on the offensive rebound in the last possession. Now Winesett here for three. Has not made one this season, but ends that tonight. Oh, yes. So Winesett now open the season 0 for 12 on three-point range, but now starting up today 1 of 1 from three, and he's all steals early. This oh, one's nice. poked away as There's well. Nelson one. recovers this one. Saints have the numbers. He'll throw up to Washington. Washington with the convert. Coy Nelson here. A couple of steals early on, a couple of assists. And the Saints are up 14 here just halfway through the first half. You gotta think this Augies team must be a little bit flustered right now at the moment. Go. So Saints Scholastica is gonna pull away for its first victory in its first game at home at the Rife. They defeat Northland by a score of 84 to 74. Here's Johnson in the right corner. She wants a three pointer, give it to her. Jackie Johnson for three is able to tie this one back. At nine apiece. Winesett trying to get all the way to the rim. Does count the basket and the foul. Noah Winesett will go to the line for one more. Oh, foul is going to be on Cam. Mayo Julu Thomas with the rebound. Three on three coming for St. Scholastica. Coy Nelson for three in the corner. Give it to him. Coy Nelson for three on the board of himself. And this, this deficit now to a one possession game. Thomas being double teamed, here's Nelson again for three. Give it to him, Coy Nelson. Now the six points. Nelson entered today leading St. Scholastica in three point percentage, shooting seven of 12, make it nine of 14 on the season. So a strong start, start from beyond the arc for Coy Nelson. Poked away here from Washington. Is it showtime? It is showtime for Mo Washington with a slam on the fast break off the steal. And the Saints now have a tie game here in Duluth.